The great Colin Blundstone talks about working with Alan Parsons. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. He was one of my favorite vocalists in the Alan Parsons Project, but of course he's famous for the zombies and all his solo hits. He had more hits in Europe than he did in North America. But that doesn't diminish how great his solo career really was. He sang a handful of songs for the Alan Parsons Project, including Old and Wise from Eye in the Sky. We talk about that and a lot more in this clip. Alan was working at Abbey Road, and he actually worked on uh, the Zombies, the original Zombies' last album. It's called Odyssey and Oracle, mm -hmm. and uh, we recorded in Abbey Road, and that's where I met Alan Parsons then. Um, I also realized that he lived quite near me, so I used to see him, you know, we have pubs in, the, in England where young men go and drink far too much, and uh, I used to go to a pub that I used to go to called The Flask, in Hampstead Village on Saturday lunchtime. So I would see him in there and we would, we would chat about, you know, what's going to happen. And then when, um, when he started this, the, the Alan Parsons project, he wanted me to sing on the first one, which was called Tales of Mystery and Imagination. But I was in um, California with Davy Johnson recording the album we've just been talking about. So I couldn't do that first one. But I, I did uh, Pyramid and the track I sang was called the eagle will rise again beautiful song it is a gorgeous song i mean i know that he's remastering and you were on this as well ammonia avenue dancing on a high wire which you did well i, I tell you what used to happen with the alan and eric wilson of course it, who was his silent partner mm -hmm. uh when i first started doing tracks for them they would perhaps send me a cd and i would have a week living with it to learn it and then as time went by they would just call me so um Dancing on a high wire would be one of these that they would just call me and say, oh, come down to the studio, come down to Abbey Road, and uh, we'll, we'd like to play you a tune. And um, so I'd go there, they'd play me the tune, and they would say, okay, you got that? Right, we're going to record it now. <laughs> so you, you had to learn these songs really quickly as time went by. Um, as I said, you know, I was allowed the luxury of probably living with a song for a week to start with, and... And towards the end, I was, you know, I was learning it on the, on the, on the spot, You're right there. I talked to Lenny Zakatek last year, and he said, he said when it came to, and he, he played next to, I think, Eric, he sang the most songs. And he said, no, Alan basically gave me a song, and uh, he never really told me what to do. He was always kind of, yeah, that's good, we'll use that. <laughs> he was surprised. Yeah, it, I guess that, that was uh, the kind of atmosphere, and... And, and I know that Eric always wanted to keep... They, they would, there would always be a, a loose concept to each album. I, don't, I guess, I don't know whether you would call it a concept album or not, but there was a thread going through an album. And he was always very interested on in your opinion of what that concept was. And I, I was miles away in uh, everything that I ever said to him. You know, I remember with Pyramid, that was one of the, you know, the, the first one I did. I hadn't got, I hadn't got a clue what it was about, and um, that was true of most of the songs. I had no idea what it was about or what the album was generally about. Well, with uh, sort of the Big Brother, I remember I'd heard that that Eric was interested in, uh, in slot machines and casinos when it came to, you know, people being filmed with Eye in the Sky, and and you of course saying Old and Wise in in '82. We took a poll in our website. Maybe three years ago, and Old and Wise came out number two as far as popularity. It's incredible, isn't it? I mean, it's an absolutely wonderful song. Uh, I think um, I was recording in Abbey Road with Alan, and I think it was a project, a band called Keats, yeah. that uh, I sang with and Alan produced, and Eric was involved with as well. And Eric was there, and we were walking out of Abbey Road. We were, we'd been in Studio 2, which is towards the back of the building, and we were walking out of the building together, Eric and I, towards Studio 3, and he said, no, I, I've, I've got this idea of a song, let me, let me just play it to you. So we, we went into Studio 3, which incidentally is where the Zombies recorded Time of the Season um, and the whole of Odyssey and Oracle, well, most of Odyssey and Oracle, in that studio. And he sat down at the piano and he played me this song, just, he just played it from beginning to end, the whole thing. I, I thought it sounded absolutely wonderful, and he said, well, you know, would you like to sing it? And I said, absolutely, of course I would. And uh, I think that was one where I had a few days to learn the song. So I was very grateful for that. But I, I, I think it's one of the most beautiful songs I've ever recorded. Yeah. It certainly means a lot to me. Do you ever play it uh, with your solo shows? I do, yeah. Not, um, 
I think with the solo band, I play it every, you know, every show I do. We sometimes play it with the zombies as well. But uh, it, it, we, we alter songs a lot with the zombies. So sometimes we play it, sometimes we don't. Um, but I do I play it every night with the solo band, absolutely. Some countries in Europe, particularly Holland, I play a lot in Holland. Yeah. And Olden Wise was a huge, huge hit there. It's, it's probably more important as a song there than anywhere else in the world. And so that, you know, when I play, I'll play She's Not There, Time of the Season, and a lot of other songs I've sung on that were hits in Europe. But in Holland especially, Olden Wise will be the big song of the night. We'll have more from Colin Blundstone coming up next week, as well as Rod Argent, his partner in The Zombies. I'm John Bowden. Buy a t-shirt. Help support this channel. Links in the description at the very top of this video. Make sure you comment on our videos, click on the bell notification, and subscribe to our channel, and share them on social media. We'd appreciate that. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Mm -hmm.